What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kid Vision. We are back with the final installment of the Money Game series, part three by Ren. Solely based on your guys' comments and what I saw in the thumbnail and what I'm seeing right now, um, I'm feeling like this is going to be very theatrical. This is like the grand finale. I see that it's nine minutes long. So my bet is that the 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 steps he talked about in part two, I feel like he's really gonna break those down and go in, like as in-depth as he can with each one of those so um other than that i don't have another guess of what he could be talking about but i feel like he he should keep the same theme i, I can't imagine i said that in the second video too i, I can't imagine he just does a u-turn like clearly he's going to stick to this theme we'll maybe even hear the same sort of melody and lyrics in the hook but definitely go watch part one and two i have both of those on my channel so go and do that because i talk about a lot in those videos and if i don't say something in this video that you're waiting to hear maybe i said it in those two so go watch those before you comment that i missed something or didn't talk about something all right let's get right into this because i'm excited all right oh he had to tickle the keys before <laughs> It's so impressive, and he's blind. He's blindfolded with the bag. I say it every video, but he continues to impress. <laughs> I don't even know if that's him, actually. Thinking about the first one. really cool angles and I, I love how this is shot already oh well that's clearly him <laughs> Yo, how crazy would that have been? Hold on, hold on. I know it's about to start. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? So it's implied that he like set himself on fire in the first part. Wouldn't that be crazy if he did his makeup and got like a bald cap to make it look like he's he was like burned alive and then he performed it like that? That would be a little wild. The shock factor would be like pretty intense. It might take away from other elements of the video, but that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool, and I was kind of like, that just crossed my mind when he was unmasking himself, you know? I was like, is this a continuation? Because, I mean, it was implied that he just killed himself <laughs> in the first video. Uh, so, wind it back. lot darker feel already let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy one years old and his first words were mine mine gimme two years old he was walking three years old walking quickly four years old he was running round the pavements of his city five years old and his daddy told him listen here son you gotta learn to be a man a man he works for what he wants six years old and he's reading writing top of the bunch and when he's seven his progression made him student number one eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades okay <laughs> okay i know what's gonna happen i mean ren always surprises me so i'm not 100 percent sure about this but he's going to give a specific example using this character as to what he's talking about in part two like 
he said the steps were like progressively like getting higher and higher up in wealth, I guess you can say, or, or status or whatever. But now he's going to use a person as a specific example and what you can see in the person and how they change based on money. So that's my guess. He's nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, he develops complex software code. The oh, damn. weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. Oh, damn. Seventeen, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically. A millionaire, 18, and his daddy tell Isn't that crazy that people can do that? Like, I was programming already at, like, 17. If you're new to the channel, that's what I do. I'm a mobile software engineer. Swift for iOS, Java for Android. I wish it was Kotlin. But anyway, tangent. That's what I do. So it's just crazy. Like, I know a lot about that, like, industry. And it's just crazy how these one-off businesses can grow so exponentially. And like, what was it? Apple started in a garage. Like, there's that's just like one example. But like, man, and some people are doing this as teenagers. It's just something that clicks, you know. Your, your brain's able to evolve so quickly and develop so quickly at like such a young age, more so than when you're an adult, so. And now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 20 sorry i had to pause it because that's a pivotal moment right there and that's when it's all downhill <laughs> oh man i am still so proud of myself for referencing the fall of the house of usher in the last video because i had a bunch of people in the comments say yo ren addressed that himself when that show came out like part two came out first before that so ren wasn't inspired by the show but Ren actually addressed it himself when it did come out, which was so crazy that I made the same connection without ha having any knowledge of that. That's why I love doing reactions. But if you heard what I talked about around that subject, you know that like right when you start becoming manipulative with your business on a larger scale, that's when it's just like, there's no going back. <laughs> like, free a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, Listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, Facts, the business shift, bro. he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shit. Wait, what? <laughs> he went from. He went from software, like, business mogul to, like, arms dealer. Like, how... Okay, I, I understand that it's an example and it's just a story, but, like, are there any real examples of that happening? That is such a 180. And, bro, you gotta listen to your parents. Damn. Dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28 inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now he's 30. His daddy says you're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32. Okay, this dad isn't as innocent as I once thought. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Oh my god, there's definitely things his father could have done differently to uh, change his behavior. Moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. You can, I love his delivery and how it just went off the rails. 35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son, but it's your father. Had a heart attack. Yep, sorry, there we go. Gone. 
36, getting pissed off, abusing his product. 37, eyes glazed, disposition demonic. 38, with a prostitute, a moment of passion, heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39, getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, uh. but the strategy's flawed. Whoa. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra, and one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. Damn. Bro, that's the least of his worries. Actually, that's not true at all, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean... Obviously, walking is very important, but like... You had other shit going on that was arguably worse. Gosh, this music video is so well done. <laughs> it's so theatrical. Like, everything is planned out, you can tell. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40, and he cursed the words, mine, mine, gimme. 40, oh, but he wasn't whoa. Walking. 42. Whoa, I just got goosebumps, bro. Just the strings. Strings always do that to me. If you're not, if you've been around the channel before, you know there's been so many moments I'm listening to an album and there's like a string section and I'm just like, Ugh, I get shivers. Like, and because he's retelling the entire story, but now starting when Jimmy is 40. And there's a lot of the same elements as he's pointing out. Like, gimme, gimme. Like, he's so entitled at this point. Not walking words, mine, mine, gimme. Forty one, he wasn't walking. Forty two, not walking quickly. Forty three, never running round the pavements of his city. Forty four, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escape in the blame. Oh the way my god. Oh my god, I have goosebumps again. I just have to digest this. I'm sorry for pausing, guys. Because, I mean, now he's pointing it out. <sighs> wow. Now he's pointing out that this is all of us, right? In some version, like, sh some shape, way, or form, this is me, this is you. Ev all of us have this inside of us. It's just the different life experiences and different, and just different variables that can happen to everybody is what puts us down different paths. But, I mean, money does this to everybody. If it gets to that scale, something like this happens. If it's not that large scale, you know, it's still very prevalent. And the strings are just, oh my god, it's so well produced, too. This might be my favorite produced Ren song. I mean, Sick Boy was pretty cool, but that's just completely different. I can't even, like, compare the two, really, but... Me, and it's a version of him, and it's a version of she, and it's a version of you. There's no escaping the blame, the way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame, call the music. Damn, so bossy. <laughs> this isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy. Community it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. His solution. This is intimidating. Very intimidating. you gonna do <laughs> everything is subject to change facts we could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains 
Facts. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consume till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Wow. He kind of said that already, but he's reiterating more clearly now. Oh shit. Well, that was cool. 45. Jimmy comes home. Oh, he's out straight of the up rain, picking back up. Soaking wet up. Okay. Oh my god. All right. So I said it in high Ren, but <laughs> my very very first introduction to Ren was that song and when it cut off and he just spoke directly to the camera I was like nervous because he was like looking at me right and I th I called it cringy um, now a part of me still believes it was a little bit cringy because it comes off as like kind of preachy however you want to put it right and the same thing here like when the music cut off and he just stared at the camera and like just started explaining this stuff it comes off as like preachy and kind of um cringy at first but then you start listening to him and like clearly he's explaining things clearly and he cut off the music so that he could make that point all right let's hear what jimmy does when he's 45. 45 Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking the game. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. Bars. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. God, that was so well written. That was so cool. I just got goosebumps again. That wasn't even in my head. Like, I forgot that melody. On the triggers of a money game. It came full circle. That was so cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. There you have it. There you have it. The money game series by Ren. That was, that was crazy. He elaborated so much more in depth than I thought he was, and it wasn't the stages. He did it by taking a person's life and explaining it through them. So that was the summary of the video in like a couple sentences. But this theme applies to everybody. This story applies to everybody. And I did want to touch on one thing he said at the end. It all depends on how we teach and raise our children. Like... That is the root of it. That's when I said it earlier in the video, actually. Your brain is developing faster when you're growing up than any other point in your life. And so that's when it's the most crucial that you're taught to, you know, not be a sheep, to make your own decisions, to, to learn about topics so that you can responsibly, like, maneuver throughout those topics throughout your life. I kind of said that poorly, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. But those are my thoughts that I could talk about like this topic all day. Um, there's a lot to unpack here. Comment something that came to your mind when you were listening to this or watching this uh, that I might have missed or not touched on. Like always, I do try to read each and every comment. So definitely go do that. I've been bad at replying to the comments lately just because, you know, it's, it's almost summer. I'm getting really busy like other than YouTube. So um, I'll do my best, but thank you guys so much if you supported this uh, little money game series. It was only three videos, but three weeks. And uh, comment what you want me to react to next by Ren, because I will keep on doing these as long as I get satisfaction from it. <laughs> as long as I'm having fun making these videos, I will keep doing them because they're being well received. So I will ask one thing of you guys, go watch just one of my other videos that isn't a Ren video. I am still somewhat new to YouTube, so it would be really cool to see my viewership and subscribers start to like translate over to like the, the main thing I do on the channel. Like Ren is just like a little side project, but I react to new music every single Friday. So it would be great if you guys join the family. And yeah, have a great rest of your week. Get outside if it's nice where you're at. And uh, yeah, I will see you next Friday for some new music. All right, peace.